as a brief parent, you know more than anyone how it feels. What do you want the likes of David Cameron to do? Ban it. It needs to be banned. There shouldn't be steps taken in place to, to prevent this. It should be stopped, full stop. There should be no opportunity for these people to set up pages, to put these images on. And straight away, there should be something to flag up. You say, I mean, we're able to trace IP addresses. Right, if we're able to do that, why aren't we tracing these people that are doing it? And why aren't we taking action against these people that are doing it? Whose responsibility is it? Because is it the companies or is it the government? Who who do you want to see? Sort That's where this they out? both need to be united and and come as one and and deal with it together. I mean, the government obviously from the police inside of it and and the um, internet companies from the internet. That if they can come together and create something which will stop all of this, then I think it's a it's a positive step. So I mean, is it Tia's legacy? Do you think this will does this go some way to making you understand what's happened? Um, to a certain extent, yes. Um, I think, obviously, the understanding side of it, we will never get over what's happened. Um, but all we can do is prevent this from happening again. That is, that's the next step, really, to prevent this. I mean, even if we can save one child's life from doing the same thing happening again, it's, it's a step in the right direction. Um, but I think if you put a block on it, then you are preventing this ever happening again, or at least fueling someone like Stuart Hazel. I mean, there's been other high prof profile cases that this sort of internet search has been involved. And I think the longer it goes on, the more and more people are aware of it, and the more and more these people that actually do these searches are aware of it, and they're, they're trying it for themselves, and then we don't know where it would lead from there. I mean. In our case, it's, it's led to my daughter's death. And in other cases, it's led to their child's death. And we need to do something now. As a, as a community, as a nation, the government, the police, and the internet firms, we all need to come together and, and get this wiped out and stop. And of course, you're um, a father to a, another little child, and you have another one on the way. Has your horrific experience changed you as a dad, the way that you, that you parent? Um, my partner says I'm very overprotective, but you, you can never be overprotective of your children, I don't think, because as this shows, Natalie was very protective of Tia, and you, you build up a trust in someone, and then that trust is taken by... I mean, he was, he was with the family for around about seven years, seven and a half years, and, in total, knowing the family. And over the amount of years, he built up a trust with Tia's mum. And she trusted him to look after Tia. And he broke that trust. So I think it, it's going to be very hard to spot and recognise people like him and what they do. But I think if we can take the right steps and, and do something now, it makes for my son and their children, his children, and, and possibly further on down the line, a safer place for them. I mean, I live in a cul-de-sac and my son doesn't go out the cul-de-sac. I won't let him go out the cul-de-sac. It's a quiet street, I know my neighbours, but then I don't know them to a certain extent. You, you don't know no one, that's the thing, and it's, it's very hard. Because you want to be able to put trust in people that live around you, but with something like this happening, it, it just puts you straight back and you don't, Push you back to square one where you're like, wait there, can I trust that person? Can I trust their friends? And you, you just don't know.